Hello everyone, I'm Allison Bolander, career counselor for Mechanicsville High School. We're here today with Jesse Bartley from Bridgewater College. Um, she's here to tell us all there is to know about this fabulous campus. Jesse? All right, everyone, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, again, my name is Jesse Bartley from Bridgewater College. I'm just gonna go over some real quick things with you today about Bridgewater and sort of the general financial aid application process. Um, I have received a lot of applications from you all, and I know we have had students visit from Hanover, so um, definitely want to give, if there's any students on the call or anyone that hops on, if you guys have any questions, definitely give you that chance to ask those questions. So um, real quick, uh, student body of Bridgewater toll enrollment is only about 1,500 total students on campus. Um, 398 students were part of our first year class that we brought in in the fall. And then you can see the breakdown of that class there. Um, small school, I chose Bridgewater. That was one of the reasons why I picked Bridgewater was that small school environment. Um, average class size for academics is only 19 students. So definitely if you're looking to go a place where there's small class sizes where you can get to know professors, um, you know, get to know support staff, academic support, all of that, um, definitely Bridgewater definitely fits that token there. Um, 60 majors and minors for you guys to choose from, business administration, biology, health and exercise science, psychology, and liberal studies are our top five majors. Uh, we do have four graduate programs. The athletic training program is set up to be a 3-2 program. So three years would be um, solely undergrad, and then those two years would be part of the master's program. The digital media strategy, psychology, and the human resource management programs would be four years of undergraduate work and then just one extra year uh, part of the graduate program. So in five years, if you chose one of those programs, you could graduate with an undergrad and uh, graduate degree from Bridgewater. Resident life and dining. So Bridgewater is a fully residential school. Um, so what that means is all four years students live here on campus. There are a few um, requirements that some students meet where they can be commuter students. But that's only about 15% of that total 1,500 students that are commuters. Um, seven residential halls on campus. We have the Wampler Towers, which is an apartment complex. Stone Village Houses, that's an apartment complex. It's actually in this top picture here, that's Stone Village. Um, the Crimson Inn is a motel that was in the town of Bridgewater that the college purchased a few years ago. So that's set up similar to what a motel would be. Uh, and then with dining, we have one dining hall on campus, but you have unlimited dining swipes. So you can come in and out of the dining hall as many times as you like uh, during their open hours throughout the week and weekends. Surrounding area, this is one area that when I'm talking with students and they ask sort of advice or I just give advice is no matter what school that you visit or where that school is, whether it's close to home, far away from home, wherever it is, definitely check out the surrounding area. You know, you're gonna spend a lot of time on campus wherever you decide to go for college, uh, but you're also gonna to wanna to go off campus and check out the area, surrounding towns, things to do off campus as well. Um, so the College of Bridgewater and the town of Bridgewater actually um, meet right there on the same street. So there's not really a big separation between the college and the town. You just cross the street and you're on campus or you cross the street and you're in the town of Bridgewater. Um, only about 6,000 residents uh, live in Bridgewater, uh, one of the safest towns in Virginia. There's four popular parks that students like to go to, but I believe there's upwards of close to 10 or more parks in the town. So um, par three and a mini golf course is probably half a mile from campus. Ice skating uh, and the Sipe Center are even closer to campus. So um, definitely some things in the town of Bridgewater that students have access to go do throughout the year as well. So this is a big part, uh, financial aid. It was a big part of me when I was looking at schools and deciding on which school that I wanted to attend. Uh, and I know financial aid is a big part of the application and selection process for a lot of students and their families as well. Um, three types of aid is available to you guys with Bridgewater. That first bullet you see there, the institutional scholarships, those are broken down into sort of subcategories. So merit scholarships, Every student that's admitted receives a merit scholarship ranging from $25 to $32,000. How that amount goes up is based on your GPA. 
So the higher your GPA is, the more uh, merit-based scholarship that you're eligible to receive. Out-of-state scholarship for our out-of-state students uh, and then students that are members of the Church of the Brethren, we also have a grant set aside for those students as well. Um, second piece of aid is the state aid. So the Virginia Tuition Assistance Grant. Um, if you guys are looking to stay in the state of Virginia and you attend a Virginia private college university, um, that a grant is set at $4,000 is the estimate. The VTAG is money that comes from the state of Virginia. So Bridgewater or any other private college university um, doesn't award that money. It comes from the state. Um, that's money that you do not have to pay back with the VTAG. It's two, three page, pages of a form that you fill out and you send back to us over the summer. Uh, and then we make sure that you're awarded that uh, VTAG grant. Third piece is the FAFSA form, free application for federal student aid. Um, this piece is not required for you all to submit the FAFSA form, but it is highly recommended um, probably by any school that you guys visit. You've probably talked about it with your guidance counselors or teachers to definitely submit the FAFSA to us if you haven't already. Um, it is a bit lengthier of a process with financial aid, but it's definitely worth it to go through at least your first year just to see what additional scholarships, loans, grants, um, work study eligibility, all of that that you may be eligible for. Um, our financial aid office will also use information from your FAFSA to, del, um, excuse me, to look at and determine if there's any additional scholarships or grants that Bridgewater the College can award to you as well. So it's definitely beneficial um, to fill out that FAFSA form. Application process. So like I said, when I started out, I received a lot of applications from um, you all in the four different schools that I'm talking with today. Um, two ways to apply if you haven't done so already, the Bridgewater application on our website, or you can do the Common App. If you've already submitted a Common application, you should be able to just go back in and add Bridgewater to your list of schools. Um, no essay, no teacher recommendation is required for our application. It's a free application, so you don't have to pay anything for it. Um, supplemental items you see listed there, your high school transcript is required, and then we are test optional. So when you're filling out that application, it'll come to a point where you can select if you'd like to submit test scores or if you'd like to apply as test optional. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, if you have submitted an application and you know that your counselors have sent in your transcript, but you haven't had an admissions decision returned back to you in the mail, um, definitely give us a call or check in with me after the virtual visit today just to see if maybe we're missing your test scores. Uh, or something like that that may be holding up your application. Um, rolling admissions, so what that means once your application is marked complete, so once we have your application and those supplemental items, um, you'll have a decision back within two weeks. So it's a pretty quick process that'll get turned around. Uh, we'll try to have all the applications that we have reviewed and a decision back to you all before we go home on winter break, um, December 21st, I believe is our last day on campus. Campus visits, so you guys are visiting with me today virtually, but personal visits we have Monday through Saturday. Um, students are right now taking exams. Today is the first day of exams on campus. But with personal visits, what that could look like is you come to campus, meet one-on-one -on -one with an admissions counselor, go out on tour with one of our student ambassadors. And then after that, if you'd like to meet with any coaches, if you'd like to meet with any professors, if you in the spring semester, once professors and students come back to campus, if you'd like to sit in on a class or maybe a couple of classes, um, if there's a club that you're interested in, you know, anything like that, um, just let us know and we can work to set that up for you when you come to campus for your personal visit. Um, open houses, we have one every month. We just had one this past Saturday and we'll look to continue those in the spring semester. Saturday group visits, those are generally 15 to 20 students, uh, groups that come to campus. Academic department days, and then as we move into the spring semester, we will have specific admitted student days for those students that have been admitted um, to Bridgewater. All right, so like I said, I definitely wanna give, uh, I believe we have one student on the call with us. So if you have any questions for me, I'll take those questions. Um, but if you guys have any questions, again, my name is Jesse Bartley with Bridgewater College. You can reach directly out to me or you can also reach out to the general uh, admissions at bridgewater.edu email, or you can just give us a call and um, hopefully we'll be able to answer any questions that you guys have. But that's all that I have as far as the presentation. So thank you guys.
I had a 